Some upstate school districts made changes to their schedules today, asking students to head home early because of the potential storms in the area. While it may have been sunny for a good chunk of the day, our Kelsey O'Donnell explains why they made the call. For the second time this week, many upstate schools are calling e-learning days or sending their students home early due to the threat of inclement weather passing through the area. Oftentimes, it doesn't always have to do with strong storms and rain. At times, it has to do with the wind. From Spartanburg to Cherokee and down to Greenwood County, buses lined up early Friday and parents fill the parking lots to pick up students. That's been the case across much of the upstate with forecast models showing the potential for severe weather. Spartanburg District 3 explained during the first round of inclement weather earlier in the week why many schools make those calls. Oftentimes, it's more than just rain. In a message to parents, they said South Carolina bus safety regulations restrict the operation of school buses if sustained winds reach 30 miles per hour or wind gusts reach 40 miles per hour. And that's why many students were released early on Friday as well. High wind turned buses over and they tall uh, track and trailers buses. So I understand about early dismissal. Plus, it, it keeps them safe. According to the Department of Education's Office of Transportation, vehicle size, wind speed, wind direction, road conditions, and visibility are all taken into consideration when making decisions. As far as who makes those calls, the Department of Education says they're made at the local level because weather conditions in one area may be different in another area. It's a decision parents don't take lightly. I feel good about the way they do things, uh, try to inform the community and, you know, keep the kids safe. While leaders from the Department of Education say buses can sustain winds of up to 100 miles per hour when parked on a level surface, the issue lies when the buses are in motion. Despite the changes, many students and parents say they're excited to start the weekend early. Two days this week, I'm sure your daughter's pretty happy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Plus they get money off for holidays. In Spartanburg County, Kelsey O'Donnell, 7 News. Many school activities after school were canceled because of the weather this evening.